Hello, thank you for joining me again. So today I've just got gotten off the tram there, just up in my old stomping grounds, Bernay, just on the kind of outskirts of Geneva. And yeah, basically I'm gonna take the hammock for a little bit of a spin tonight because didn't get a chance to the other day. Anyways, let's get going. Absolutely majestic out here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful landscape. Up there over the hill, you've got um, Bernay where I used to live. And then down here you've got Celeve. All across here you've got the Jura, some pretty beautiful places. Epic places to camp. A lot of forestries in between, so on and so forth. So yeah, it was really nice living there, just being able to, to open the door and already be on trail basically. And yeah, really nice to be around here because I've not been here for a while, so. Yeah, always nice to get out of nature anyway. So we've got a couple of nice forest trees here. I think I'll check those for other little butchers around for some mushrooms as well. Definitely tomorrow when I'm a bit more time permitted. You know, one thing I really love about Bernay is usually down these bush rows, not this one in particular, but you get a lot of them that have a lot of uh, wild fruits and that that have been planted and it's literally really aesthetic to look at but also just really nice for the people of Bernay because uh, yeah everyone goes out pick stuff I've said it before with Julian Claude and that make your own jams and everything like that so really really cool love that Look at those clouds. You would not believe it's summer just on the horizon, would you? Which, uh, yeah, re really makes me excited actually with summer coming because I love going on my long survival trips. So I get a nice couple of weeks in there climbing mountains or, or whatever I do. And uh, yeah, yeah, gonna be really good, really good. Usually during the year, I don't get much time off. So like now I've got a little bit over 24 hours to get out do something get home and for me getting out is really important even if it's just to clear my head just to get away from the busy hustle and bustle of life you know I think everyone probably gets like that we all do it different though but yeah for me it's getting out and about in the wild so yeah anyways the summer absolutely buzzing to go on one of those big long survival trips last year I didn't get the chance I had to go back to England um, yeah so it's been nearly a couple of years where 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 i've not been basically and, I, and obviously for filming wise as well i feel like the ones that i have done on youtube i maybe weren't as good at filming at the time or whatever maybe i'm not as good now but um i feel personally like i've progressed a bit in that department so kind of showing what you're doing and filming it and yeah trying to explain different things on the way i think that would be really really I think it's going to be a cool summer ahead so really excited for that one pretty much just there now where i'm going to camp tonight just in here you can hear a load of frogs and everything some duckies so super excited what's what's going to be in store down here this street and this street let's do it Wait, something's missing. Looking absolute boss now. Oh la la. Nice, nice stuff. So you can see I got this little pole there just to kind of stick it out, give me a nice bit of open opportunity. If it gets a bit chilly late, I literally just take the pole down just to give it a nice angle, just to kind of box me in there. But yeah, looking absolutely, absolutely vibrant at the moment gonna dig out here get a little fire on the go uh, it's a nice easy fire to start tonight that one just up here you've got loads of dry wood just hanging up on trees and so on and so forth just where it's been coming down so absolutely pucker Anyways, now we're going to cook up this steak baguette.
so I've got the baguette prepared there ketchup and butter nice nice and little pro tip always use your little saw there if you need to to ever cut any bread or anything small like that always pretty helpful look at that oh la la beauty you can see i've had a little bite already there that's absolute nine out of ten that A lot of noise just next to me there anyways i'm gonna call that one at night check you in the a.m top of the morning lovely cup of joe get the day on the go and for brekkie i'm gonna knock up those last uh Last four tomatoes there, uh, absolutely love tomatoes, just eat them as they are there. And some uh, bush muesli, not sure if you've heard of that or not. Basically it is what it says or, or shows on the tin. Load of fruit, some oats and a lovely kind of uh, yogurt type of sauce. I think it's a yogurt type of sauce. But yeah, yeah, one of my favorites, uh, milk actually, uh, looking at that milk, yes. I think it's I think it's milk, but yeah, one of my one of my favourite ones over in Switzerland. That for for a little spot of brekkie, absolutely delicious. Gonna sit here, listen to the to the bird noises and that for a bit. Chill out, coffee in hand. Amok was really comfy last night. Really happy with that one. Pretty much the same as the one that I had before that, but always nice just to know that it's got a nice bit of bit of spring in that in it nice stuff fire all buried lovely jubbly other than a few on logs I can't see too many too many mushies about It's epic out here today. It's absolutely sunny out of its head. Lovely stuff. Go. Cool. There's the tram, and there's a farewell. Thank you very much for watching.